What is up everyone welcome back to the garage in today's episode we are once again chasing exhaust leaks on the 240 we fixed probably one or two exhaust leaks already on the 240 but there is another one i'm thinking it's somewhere around the muffler area which also coincidentally happens to be the part of the exhaust that i drag getting out of the driveway it's the lowest part of the exhaust so i think there's probably a hole there or there's uh, some sort of a leak somewhere near the muffler area so today we're gonna jack the car, get underneath there, and see if we can knock out some more exhaust leaks and then further improve the exhaust tone on the 240. Let's get it. All right, so this is also gonna give us a chance to check out the other spots that we have worked on. Um, with the exhaust patch here, kind of looks ridiculous. Um, and then uh, back there, the exhaust gasket in between that connection there. So this gives us a chance to take a look at these, make sure they're good to go. I'm not seeing any holes here. This looks pretty good. Um, but I'll fire it up and see if that's leaking at all. Also check there. Then we're gonna move our way to the back and start feeling around, see if we feel any exhaust leaks there as well. As suspected right in the muffler so yeah it is leaking out of the muffler there pretty good crack there and then it's leaking kind of out of the front of there luckily that is super easy to get to because we're just right here um, so that's pretty cool I checked every joint all along the exhaust feeling looking this section right there is pretty low as well but I could not feel anything there it's not not leaking there at all um, everything felt pretty solid. I may have a slight exhaust leak at the header, um, but you know, not much I'm gonna be able to do about that. I mean, maybe I'll come back to that um, at a later date, but let's go over to the shelf over here. Grab our extreme heat that seemed to work well in that giant hole. So this little crack right here should be able to be an easy fix. I am thinking that because that is so low, I may want to weld a little bit of a um, like piece of aluminum or something onto the bottom there that kind of protects that. So I may think about doing that, but let's get this patched up. Okay, so we were wondering after that first video if this was like a one-time deal. It does separate out afterwards, and so I should be able to use this once again, and uh, that way... I can still use this so that's cool that it does separate back out and uh, you can still use this a second time which we need to do so let's get this mixed up and start pacing it onto the bottom of the muffler there them um couple tips for using this now that i've used it a second time went a lot easier the second time now that i know what i'm doing 
it does not like to spread maybe it's just the gloves i'm using it, it's definitely a more solid um and dense putty and so you definitely want to kind of like push it on there and then you can kind of mold it where you need to go that's what it looks like there and i even kind of curled around the edge just to be safe and that should patch that up and honestly if this was that big of a hole in the muffler i'm really hoping it fixes um at least like that farting noise when i shut off the engine that would be sweet and like decel and acceleration stuff like that hopefully that fixes the exhaust tone i'm kind of thinking it's going to so that should be pretty sweet um i will check back with you guys tomorrow and we'll see how this did all right guys day two we've let the exhaust patch dry overnight it is now time to fire up the 240 and i'm really hoping this fixes all of our exhaust leaks i'm pretty sure this will um after the last one i did have a feeling that there would be one more but i think we are close to patching up and fixing all the exhaust leaks in the 240 so let's fire this thing up and hopefully it sounds good let's go Okay, super weird. It still sounds super exhaust leaky. It honestly might be damage inside of the muffler, actually. It might be the actual muffler that uh, just sounds really bad. It might have just like some damage inside of the casing of the muffler, and that might be why it sounds that way. Um, I've patched up every hole, and it still sounds like from the back of the car uh, exhaust leak sound when i shut it off still has kind of that farting muffled sound um so i'm gonna dive more into that and uh if i'm able to find something then i'll update this video but for now we're done with that we're gonna move on to a couple other things and so what i've also been able to do during this video um the frame has actually like separated a little bit from this piece here, this cross member underneath the radiator support, or this like is the radiator support, um, or whatever this bracket is called. And so I went ahead and drilled a couple holes in each side and just put a little bolt temporarily, um, might come back and weld that back together. Um, but that is all solid now. And also in the rear hatch, There's a trim piece that goes on those kind of triangle pieces in front of the uh, shock towers there. I only had the driver's side and I put it there and it looked kind of weird having only one, but also it had a little piece that covers the actual dampener adjustment on the coilovers. And so I went ahead and took this out and I'm just gonna leave it out. It looks kind of better actually having it even and I also am able to adjust that dampener a lot easier. Speaking of the dampener adjustment, um, I've been playing around with the adjustments on the BCs a lot and I still haven't quite got it to where I want it to be. Out of the box, they are 15 clicks. There's 30 clicks overall. So 15 right in the middle of soft and hard. And it felt really good out of the box. Um, but I made a few adjustments. I actually softened up the dampeners a little bit and the front feels really nice now, but the back feels a little weird. There's a little bump lip thing crack in the road on my way out of my neighborhood. And it's kind of the way I always uh, test suspension. It's not a huge bump, but uh, it gives me a good idea of where things are at with the car. Front takes it totally fine, but the rear feels a little weird going over. It's a little harsh. So my theory is softening these up a little more than the front. I don't know if that's bad um, suspension dynamics to have softer um, front to back or vice versa, 
but I end up going five clicks softer in the rear. I'm probably gonna go test it and then maybe go five clicks more hard than the front and see how that is. But it's nice to be able to adjust your coilovers and get your ride exactly where you want it to be. All right, guys, that is going to pretty much do it for today's video. I know we weren't super successful in fixing. The exhaust still sounds a little crappy, but we have fixed pretty much all the leaks. I can't find a single leak on and throughout the entire exhaust system. Um, sound still isn't the best. Maybe we have to get a new muffler, so um, that might be something for another video. Um, but also a few little adjustments on the 240 and cleaning up the rear hatch and uh, as well as that front bracket on the frame. That's gonna do it for today's video here. Once again, thanks for watching and peace out.